Proper Welding Technique Grind or brush the base metal to remove rust, dirt, and paint. Use a non-chlorinated solvent such as acetone to remove oil and grease, then wipe the weld mitt with a clean, dry cloth. Metal, 1 8 inch and thinner, does not require a bevel and the plate may be butted together. On thicker material, bevel the edge to create a 30 degree angle on each workpiece. Gap thicker sections as well as longer pieces to ensure penetration. Tack weld the material into position. On larger pieces, place tack welds every few inches to reduce warping. Use a forehand welding technique for metal up to 1 8 inch. It creates a smaller weld puddle and provides better control. Use a backhand welding technique for metal thicker than 1 8 inch to promote better fusion and increase travel speed. Hold the torch tip at a 30 to 45 degree angle from the work and keep the inner cone of the flame about one quarter inch away from the joint. Make dime-sized circular or semicircular motions until the base metals run into a small puddle. Dip the filler rod into the puddle. Let the puddle melt the rod and then retract it. If necessary, you can preheat the rod by closing the gap between it and the inner cone just before dipping. Move the torch forward about 1 16th of an inch. Establish the weld puddle and dip and retract the filler rod. Notice how the operator develops a rhythm between dipping the filler rod and moving the torch. For the last half inch of weld, be sure to use enough filler rod to completely fill the joint.